Folks, it is that time. 34 drivers entered this season of the NASCAR Napa Cup Series, 25 or so of them being sign-ups. Now, after this race today, race 10 of the NASCAR Napa Cup Series, there will be 16 left contending for the championship. This should be good. Let's go to the track. Y'all thought four lanes was the craziest we were going to get. Well, you're wrong. The last race of the regular season is going to be a good one. Six lane action. You heard me right. Six lane action. Every single lane is going to be in use today. And you may be wondering what these are. This is just, okay. So, as you can see, uh, right here is the, this is the wall right here for the slick track. It's made out of wood. So, sometimes whenever the cars hit the wall, they're pretty hard impacts, right? And it can maybe get them a chip or two sometimes. But, hey, that's all part of it. But as you can see, there's a little gap here in between the end of this, which is supposed to go over there, uh, and the wood. So this is what I did. Um, I leaned some track pieces up against it in an effort to try and keep the cars from um, slamming into the wall and taking the track down or taking the machine down with it. It's probably going to happen once or twice in this race. But, hey, when you got six lanes of racetrack, what more can you do? But, um, yeah, this is just an effort I made to try and save the cars from going slamming into the wall and knocking the machine down. But it's still probably not going to do much. But, um, you know, that's okay. Let's go to your starting Hope you guys enjoyed the starting lineup. Now we need to go over the playoff picture very briefly. These are the guys that have a chance of making it in on points. Ty Dillon in the 42. NASCAR fan number three, your pole sitter, is out by one. Justin Haley out by seven. And then it's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. out by 15. And then you've got a three-way tie. Let's see if I remember. Bowman fan, Scott Man Productions, and oh yeah, and also Caleb. So those three are all out by 16 right now, and Brian Griffin, Family Guy fan, is out by 17. Everybody else is winner, you're out situation. So best of luck to all of you, and let's get after it. Let's hope that my camera work is on point today, just in case we have any close finishes. Kurt Busch and Ty Dillon are going to start us off. Um, both of them basically need wins, but Ty Dillon, he's tied at the cutoff, so basically all he needs to do is have a high finish today. And it's going to be at the line, Ty Dillon. That was a big crossover. I feared that Ty Dillon was going to crash there at the end. But he doesn't. He moves on. And Kurt Busch is your first car eliminated from the playoffs. Next up, two cars who are above the cutoff right now. But could still use some points. The NASCAR official 2022 doesn't really need points. But um, they would definitely help. Because he's the first car, well, he's in 13th place right now, so he's just not in by, like, two points. Then Daniel Suarez, who's, like, plus five, so he could use some points right now. At the line, ooh. It's the second race today, and we've already got a close finish. It says Suarez got to the line first, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, folks, I was focusing on my camera work, so I couldn't see, but quite clearly... The 14 got to the line first. The NASCAR official is going to move on despite his bad qualifying. And Daniel Suarez, I fear that it's the end of the road for that 99 car. Three points is not going to help. 
Next up, two cars who are in a must-win situation. Noah Gregson, Funky Monkey Man. Oh boy. Oh, big crash. Wow. I don't know how the track thing stayed up right there. Those two, that was the biggest door slam that I've seen in a while. They both go spinning. Um, it says that Monkey Man got there first, but I want to check just in case. That was a big wreck for both. Yeah, folks, just as I suspected, Monkey Man, despite going for a pretty wild ride, he moves on. As Noah Gregson impacted the outside barrier there, so um, we checked up on him because that was a pretty massive hit. But he ended up being okay. So, both cars are all good, but Noah Gregson is out of the playoffs for good. Now we have two more drivers in a must-win situation. Corey LaJoy, Michael McDowell. It's going to be... Oh, there goes the track going down. Wow, that was a big hit for both. I believe Michael McDowell sent LaJoy into the wall. So I think McDowell's moving on, but I'm going to check because the machine did not go off. Looks like I was right again, folks, but I, I'm going to have to keep pausing this if the machine doesn't go off. Um, Michael McDowell wins it. He's still got another shot at the playoffs. And Corey LaJoy, we are unsure of his condition right now um, because, as you guys saw, that was a tremendous impact to the inside barrier. And it was on the driver's side door as well. We'll give you an update on Corey LaJoy as the story, can, as the story develops. Next up, this should be an interesting one. Justin Haley, who's out by seven on the cutoff line right now. And Skylanders Gamer, who is in to the playoffs right now thanks to his race seven victory. We'll see how aggressive Skylanders Gamer is. Looks like Skylanders Gamer still wants to win. And you can see Justin Haley sent him spinning. He was like, no, I want to win this. But he, he pulled a Danica Patrick and ended up spinning himself worse. And um, Skylanders Gamer is going to win it by a car length. Justin Haley, out. Just wanted to say well done to our sign-up so far. Five Cup Series regulars out. And then you've got um, three sign-ups in. The only sign-ups to go so far. So well done, gentlemen. Got an update from Corey LaJoy. He said he is good, but a little bruised up after that impact. Next up, uh, this should be a good one. Scott Man Productions, who is out right now. He needs this. And Isaac Arango, I think, who is in the last spot. In the in the playoffs, but I can't remember. It's gonna go to crash at the line. Another big one. This looks like the LaJoy Michael McDowell incident. I think Scott Man Productions got that one. Folks, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to stop this video, but apparently it's going to be a lot. Scottman Productions 83 is going to move on. He absolutely sent Isaac Arango into the wall. That was a tremendous impact for the 16, but he was able to get out of the car under his own power. Um, so yeah, Isaac Arango is okay, but devastated because uh, I believe that means he is out of the, out of the top 16. But hey, Scott Man Productions 83, he knows that speed of that one car, and he's hungry. Now we got a Penske battle. Both of these guys need a win. Um, Ronald Backmarkers fan and Bryce Sports and Plushies, please do not take out the walls. Oh, they were close. Wow. Looks like uh, Ronald Backmarkers fan is going to get sent into the right side wall this time. I don't know if he spun on his own or if he door slammed his teammate. I can't tell. These boys are aggressive today. Bryce's Sports and Plushies moves on. Ronald Backmarkers fan, time to say goodbye. Um, very well done this season, man. Uh, I'm sorry it didn't go your way. Better luck in season two if you do sign up. Let's see how aggressive my let's see how aggressive the diecast version of me is. Elliot Johnson fan 48 or NASCAR Hot Wheels stop motion. I'm already locked in, as you guys know. We'll see if I have good sportsmanship, and I'll let NASCAR Hot Wheels stop motion by. Let's see it. No, sir. Elliot Johnson fan 48 says I want this win. And I get absolutely dumped by NASCAR Hot Wheels stop motion, and understandably, but it's also understandable that I didn't let him by because I've been eliminated in round one in the last two races. But, and I'm assuming the diecast version of me got sick of it. Elliot Johnson fan 48 moves on, and that might just be the end of the road for NASCAR Hot Wheels Stop Motion. Sorry, man, but I'm feeling less remorse because you just dumped me right there. So, yeah. Man, these races just keep getting better and better. Bowman fan 48 
who needs points today. Needs, needs points. He's 16 out right now. And James Bird, who is the points leader. Well, not the playoffs leader, clearly, because he's winless. But he's the points leader with 214. was close when Bowman said he would race his when Bowman fans said he would race his ass off he wasn't joking he's trying to get everything he can out of that 84 car I gotta check that folks I just uh checked the tape again um I completely missed uh the two cars but um based on what the scorer said and what I saw a uh, Bowman fan ran the 19 car up the track the points leader keep in mind and from what I saw he beat him. Bowman fan is going to move on, and um, I promise you guys, I did not, <laughs> I did not um, miss that on purpose or anything. I legitimately missed it because I was trying to focus on the cars and not my filming. But um, from what I saw, Bowman fan got the edge barely over James Bird. I'm sorry if some of you are mad over that call because I did, I literally didn't catch anything. But for that one, you guys are gonna have to trust me. And either way, James Bird, don't sweat it, buddy. You're already in. Just wanted to say congratulations to Bowman fan, though. He's hungry today. He's giving it all he can. Very respectable. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 47, who needs points. And Caleb, who needs points. Here we go. Oh, crash at the line. And it will not take the track down, but it'll move it just a slight little bit. we got to angle that more. There we go. Caleb is going to send Ricky Spinhouse to spin again. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will be eliminated from the playoffs with that. And Caleb will move on. I don't know if he'll make the playoffs, but it's looking, it's looking good for Caleb so far. Man, if the two wide races are this aggressive, I can't even imagine the four or six wide races if I decide to do six. I probably can't, though, because you can see those walls clearly get in the way of lane one and lane six. So um, we'll see if we'll do six or four. I don't know. Definitely four, though. AM57, the Red Bull fan, and NASCAR uh, 959. These guys are both locked in, so this is a pretty harmless race. And it's going to go. Wow. Man. These boys are aggressive today. I hope you guys are enjoying this. NASCAR 5-9 takes out AM57, the Red Bull fan, but spins himself. But um, neither of them have to worry um, because NASCAR 5-9 is already locked in. But AM57, the Red Bull fans, trying to go for a second win here. He wins that race. Let's see how good a sportsmanship Isaiah Joy has. Isaiah Joy's already locked in. Ryan Griffin, Family Guy fan, needs points. He's out of the playoffs right now. Let's see if Isaiah Joy has good sportsmanship. He does not. Wow. Winner, lane four. First, Isaiah Joy eliminates Nico last race. Now he eliminates Brian Griffin, Family Guy fan. Wow. I don't know if you're watching this, Brian. I'm sorry. Uh, the 17 car. You had a rough first couple of races, and you were never able to gain back your ground, although you had a couple solid races in the previous last couple. But um, Isaiah Joy, I'm not going to say shame on you because that's racing, but wow. I thought you could have spared him at least once. Now let's see if teammates are any better to each other. Gucci Gamer, who needs a win today, and French Fry, who's already in. Oh, Wow. Looks like French Fry's not letting up even for his teammates. He gets sent into the outside wall, but he was still able to cross the line in time. Gucci Gamer goes spinning, and this will be the end of the road for Gucci Gamer as well. Better luck next season, buddy. Um, I'm sorry the 41 wasn't as fast as I thought it was. I legitimately thought that 41 car was faster because it got several pole positions and um, wins in the 2021 season, but I guess it didn't carry over the season in, or the speed in 2022, so I apologize about that. French Fry, Gidus Apologetus, he did not let up. Here we go. Maynard's Cup Series in the 43, who's already locked in, and Nico, who needs a win. Maynard's, if you do not spare my friend, I will be kind of mad. Maynard's Cup Series moves on. Nico, your playoffs hopes are over. 
I'm not going to try and say anything, but I'm kind of pissed right now, but that's all right. Things happen in racing, and Nico, I wish you the best in next season. Thank you for participating. I hope you sign up next season. Um, Very well done this season, Nico. Just wasn't enough after the hole that you dug in the first rough couple of races, but you gave it all you had in the last couple, and that's all you can do. NASCAR fan for life who's locked in. And um, uh, this is actually Bowser Jr. after the incident with Jeffy after qualifying. But um, they did not go to the back for the driver change. So um, these guys are both locked in. So this is a harmless race. But it's going to be Bowser Jr. in his first start in that 81 car. It looks like Bowser Jr. is going to be moving on. That 81 car has got some speed. Oh boy, it's going to be a good one. Two guys who did extremely well in qualifying. Caution Cup Series has highest, well, no, it's not as high as qualifying start. He got the pole once. But Caution Cup Series needs, needs a win today. So this is what it comes down to, basically. And Harrison Burton, who um, is or is not locked in? I think he is locked in. So, Harrison, will you be nice to Caution? Oh, crashing into the wall. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if you're locked in or not. These guys are being hella aggressive today. Harrison Burton absolutely cuts off Caution Cup Series, runs him up the racetrack to make sure he doesn't pass him. Caution Cup Series, a hard hit into the outside wall, but he is okay. Just devastated. Caution Cup Series, I'm sorry you couldn't carry the speed off your qualifying run. That was dirty from Harrison Burton. Caution Cup Series, it's it. That's it for your playoff run. I'm sorry, bro. Oh my god, this is going to be a good one. Holy crap. Adam NASCAR Cup Series fan 88. None other than the, your driver of the five and your three-time winner this season. And then you have NASCAR fan number three who snatched four pole positions but still is one point out of the playoffs. Who will prevail? Here we go. Oh, the three car is going to win it. Wow. I shouted a little louder than I wanted to there, but I was pumped up for the three car. Wow! The three car gets the win, and his playoff run is still alive. Adam, don't worry about it. You're in the playoffs. Actually, yeah, you're a three-time winner. You're into the playoffs. You already knew that. Round two, we're going to up it to three wide. Ty Dillon, the NASCAR official 2022, and Funky Monkey Man. Oh, it's going to be, I believe, the 23 car at the line. Wow, that was a good race. I'm going to check it just to be safe, but I think the 23 car is hungry today. I think he just won that. Just watch that again, folks. That was a close one, um, and it's going to be the 23 winning the race. And I believe Ty Dillon third, the NASCAR official 2022 second. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Scott Man Productions 83 needs, needs this one. Skylanders Gamer already advanced. Michael McDowell needs this one. Here we go. How aggressive will they get? Skylanders Gamer with the lead. Oh man. The track goes down and that was a big hit for the 34 Michael McDowell. I think Skylanders Gamer got that one, but I'm going to check it. Folks, y'all saw that correctly. That was, man, that was a big impact. Skylanders Gamer in the 20 car is going to win it. As you can see, he blocked Michael McDowell. I don't know if he blocked him or if he got into him and got sideways. But Skylanders Gamer is going to win it. Scottman Productions 83. I don't know if that's enough, buddy. We'll have to see. He finished second in that race because Michael McDowell's run got killed from Skylanders Gamer. But, wow, that was a really aggressive one. Uh, I got to go set the track back up. Scottman Productions 83. I don't know if that'll be enough, buddy, but I'm hoping it is. There's nothing else to say about this one other than it should be intense. Bryce's Sports and Plus Season 12 needs points. And, yeah, no, he needs a win. Elliot Johnson Fan 48 is already advanced. Bowman Fan 48 needs points. Here we go. It's going to go to, oh, my God, that was close. Unfortunately, Bowman fan finished third in that race. I know that for sure. I saw him behind. That was close between the 9 and the 12. Let me go check it.
I promise y'all I'm not doing any personal bias here. I checked that over and over again, and I finally got it stopped at the frame. That was too close to call. I hope y'all don't get mad at me, and I promise you I'm not just doing this because it's my car. I genuinely could not tell who was out front, especially because there was a bobble for the 9 at the end, and he ended up catching up. Bowman fan 48 I'm really sorry, dude. You gave it all you had today, but you're out. I don't know if you're out of the playoffs just yet, but you're um, out of this race currently. So we'll have to see what the point situation is for you and Scott, man. But hey, I just wanted to point out, this could be crucial. Scott Man is 16 out. So is Bowman Fan. Bowman Fan is getting one extra point on Scott Man here because he finished one position ahead. So just keep that in mind. That could determine who makes the playoffs and who doesn't. But as for that race that we were just having, we need to have a re-race between these two because it was too close. Elliot Johnson Fan 48 and Bryce Sports and Plushies. Oh my goodness gracious! Wow! As you can see... We have our first car to not even make it across the line. Bryce's sports and plushies goes into a vicious spin after a massive hit to the outside wall. Man, those two made contact and that 12 car went spinning like a top. We'll have to make sure he's okay before we continue with any racing action. But Elliot Johnson fan 48, moving on. I'm not very excited about that because that was dirty. If you're watching this, Bryce's sports and plushies, I apologize. We checked up on the 12 car. That was a tremendous hit, as you guys saw, but he is okay. I just wanted to say thank God there's some softer track pieces right there. Thank God he didn't hit the outside wall that viciously with just wood. That would have been some severe damage to the nose of that car, and he might have been severely injured. So It may have caused the track to fall down several times, but I knew those orange track pieces would be a smart idea. Caleb in the six needs points, and the other two, AM57, the Red Bull fan, and Isaiah Joy, they're already in. So it's basically the six car wins, or uh, one of the cars who are already advanced wins. Oh, boy. As for the six car, it's over for him for this race at least. I don't know about the playoff picture, but he is done uh, in terms of the race. But um, the two Joe Gibbs cars, they were real close together. I'm going to have to check that. Caleb finished third out of that. We'll see who won. Folks, looks like I messed up. I thought the 18 won, but it looks like the 11's out head by just a little bit. Folks, I've been sitting here for a couple minutes um, wondering the most reasonable way to do this without making some of you mad. Uh, I watched it over. The six car is for sure out. But um, the 18 and the 11, um, one frame that I stopped it at, the 18 was ahead. The next frame I stopped it at, the 11 was ahead. So um, I don't know what to do. I tried putting it in slow motion. And um, I want to say the 18 was out front there. Um, but some of you might say too close to call. I've been debating this for a couple minutes now. Um, I'm sorry if I upset some of you. But um, I'm going to say... Um, the 18 car was out front there by just a little bit. And 57, uh, the Red Bull fan, don't worry about it, man. You're in. I'm sorry if you were the winner of that race, but the 18 uh, was the first that I saw across the line. So apparently the scorer was right. Isaiah Joy is going to move on. Oh, boy. This is going to be a good one. We have three cars who are already advanced but have looked very fast today. Maynard's Cup Series already in. Eliminated Nico. Still pissed about that. Uh, <laughs> Bowser Jr., who's driving for the 81, who's also already locked in. Um, then you got French Fry, who's already locked in, your most recent winner. Here we go. Best of luck, gentlemen. Oh, I think it was Junior in the middle. That was close between the 43 and the 81. I think French Fry is out of the race. But um, I'm going to have to check the other two. I think the 81 just got it done. Wow. Folks, just check the replay. I believe that time, though, was a clear winner. And it's the 81 of Bowser Jr. I'm sorry if you guys saw the 43 out ahead. But the 30, the 43 was a little bit sideways. And Jr. just had his nose peeking out front. It was like that. Uh, Bowser Jr., it's going to be your fifth car moving on. You guys see the pattern here. We got five cars here. 
And you got two cars here, one moving on. Do we do six or two races of three? I'm a little bit scared about six. I think it'll upset some people. But we're going to do this final uh, sixth race first. Here we go. NASCAR fan number three or Harrison Burton. If NASCAR fan number three advances, it'll be all signups in the final six. Why do you have to do this to me? Another side-by-side -side finish. I'm going to check and see who's the final car advancing. Folks, just checked it. I don't know what y'all saw, but that was too close for me to tell. Um, it said Harrison Burton won that, but I'm not so sure about that. They were really side-by-side. -side. Uh, we're going to do this again. Oh, big crash! Wow! That was a terrifying impact for Harrison Burton. And NASCAR fan number three goes flipping. Yeah. NASCAR fan number three out. Burton in. Folks, I know some of you guys won't like this call either. I wonder where you've heard that before. Uh, we're going to have to do races of three. Based on what I've seen already, based on what you guys have seen already, with at least ten cars going into the wall and taking the track out, I've had to make too many controversial ca calls today, and I don't want to piss anyone off because their car went flying into the barrier uh, because uh, their lane was simply too far to the left or right. So, um, yeah, we're just going to do two races of three. I hope you guys are okay with that. And then we'll have one car winning this one, one car winning the next, and we'll have the finals. Here we go. Monkey Man, Skylanders Gamer, Elliot Johnson fan. Out of these cars, Monkey Man is the only one who needs a win. Okay. So, first of all, we have a massive impact for Monkey Man. Um, although he crossed the line, he is definitely out. We're going to have to make sure he's okay. Um, did I just win that? I'm going to have to go check it. Um... If I did, I'll be pretty hyped up because this will be my first time in the finals. Please. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. But A, top five for Elliot Johnson fan. I'll take that for the final race of the regular season. But I wanted to win. But you know what? Can't always get what you want, right? Here we go. Who will be joining Skylanders Gamer? To try and get um, a win. We've got two cars that are winless. And then one car that actually won with Skylanders Gamer in race 7. You've got Harrison Burton in the 21. Bowser Jr. in the 81 doing an incredible job so far today. And Isaiah Joy in the 18. Who is uh, your winner out of these three. Here we go. Oh my god. No! Dude, I can't tell you how bad I wanted the 81 to win that race. And the 81 was out in front as well. Wow. Dude, in my mind, I was like, please, 81. Yes, he's in the lead. Yes, he's in the No! Folks, the only reason that I needed to watch the tape there was simply to make sure who was second and who was third. Mickey and Jeffy Show, I'm so sorry. I'm actually so sorry, dude. That is the closest you have come to a win. Third freaking place. Third place. But hey, I got eliminated in the exact same way so we can be disappointed together. But Mickey, all that matters is that we're both in the playoffs together and we're going to give each other hell. And um, I hope you're still my homie after this because, damn, that's painful. Here we go in the finals. Skylanders Gamer, your winner of race seven. Will it be him or will it be Harrison Burton, uh, the first driver to sweep qualifying and the pole since Maynard's Cup Series in race four? Here we go. Best two out of three. It's going to be Harrison Burton across the line first in the first race. I'd like to point out that in all nine races this season, it's been nothing but signups winning. So, um, yeah. Actually, no, Denny Hamlin won race two, but he doesn't really count because I am 57. The Red Bull fans signed up right after him. Um, but yeah, ever since uh, the finalized signups, uh, no Cup Series regulars have won. And Harrison Burton's got his chance right here. Who will be your winner of race 10? Harrison Burton or Skylanders Gamer YT? Oh, he's going to come back. 
And for about the fourth race in a row, we have competition in the finals. I apologize, folks. It cut me off there. Um, my video stopped for whatever reason. But um, we have a tie in the finals. Here we go. I'm going to try and catch this the best I can. I know my camera work hasn't been too great today, but I've been trying to focus on the cars the best I can. So I'm sorry if I don't catch this. Skylanders Gamer, YT, your race 7 winner. Or will Harrison Burton get it? It all comes down to this race to see who wins the final race of the regular season. The 20 or the 21. Good luck, gentlemen. It's the 21 car with the lead, and he will take it. Harrison Burton will be the first Cup Series regular to win a race in Season 1 of Downhill Drag Racing. Skylanders Gamer, I know that hurts, man, coming that close in second place. But that, but this 21 car is finally showing its speed. It swept qualifying and the race uh, took the pole. Actually, no, it did not take the pole. That's my bad. The number three took the pole. I was thinking round one. Harrison Burton got a 133 in round one. But the number three took the pole. I apologize about that, folks. That's pain for Skylanders Gamer. I'm sorry you didn't get it done, buddy. And I'd like to apologize to many other people, like Mickey and Jeff Show, so close, third, Isaiah Joy, fourth, uh, myself, fifth. I was freaking close. I'm mad at the score for that one. And several other guys. This is your finishing order. Um, thank you guys for everything this season. But um, it all came down to this race. I know it's kind of anticlimactic for a freaking Cup Series regular, not even a sign-up to win the race. But um, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, thank you guys for everything. I'll have points out later. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this race. I tried to make it as competitive as possible. And oh boy, was it. Everybody was hungry today. Um, and I'm Alec Johnson, Fan 48 from 5th place, signing off. Should have got the win. See you guys.